Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, my first Stormworks video with my new editor. So now you can see my face. Actually, the camera's over here. Sorry, the editor's over here. So, but now you can see my face as you see this beautiful train I built. So, a lot of you will remember that. I have showed off a Stormworks creation before, but I don't know if that creation still works because you spawn it in using mission editor stuff and it might not still work. But this is my first. So Stormworks recently had a new update that allows like new, you can build nuclear reactors and coal engines and it's it's really neat so i decided to build my first ever steam train yes it's a little over the top but it's you know i really like it so this is the owl express it is a passenger train now keep in mind this is a fictional train this was not in real life but this thing w was in World War II. And the, um, the Germans would often, like, um, stop trains because, you know, you never knew. It could be, what could be a normal civilian train could be taking supply lines or bringing new weapons to, um, to aid in the fight. Now this train was a passenger train that ran from California to Utah. Um, the, it ran on the tracks most of the time. And uh, it was attacked several times, only one of which came close to succeeding. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. Now, I will try to show you it working. Emphasis on try. Because currently we have a, I have a problem with the train. Um, some of you who may have Stormworks may subscribe to it. It's on there. The engine's on there along with, I guess the, this thing back here is called the tender I may be wrong train experts correct me if you can in the comments I won't mind this is my first time messing around with trains so I took a lot of inspiration from the Hogwarts Express and my favorite Christmas movie which was the Polar Express so this is as you so uh yeah now before we get into the front which is my favorite part let's get into the backs now how do we get there oh we may have to climb along the sides climb along the side armor skirts now like i said this this thing was often attacked so it needed some armor over the wheels uh guess we need a free cam over there well free cam to the back because i want to work to the front and what i'm planning on doing with the front now i won't have the lights on because we don't really need it and the lights really ruin my computer now, um, I'm really hoping to get a good gaming computer one of these days, but, um, for now, I have this, like, Dell all-in-one. It's, it's okay. It can, it runs stuff better than my old computer. But, uh, a lot of game updates made stuff a bit laggier and more... Need more processing power. Now, as you can see, this is like a mini drink counter. 
planning on making a kitchen car one of these days. But this is the dining car, you know, people will sit down here, you know, order food, do their thing. And yeah. Now, on to the next car. Turn off the breaker, because no one's in here. We don't really need to waste battery. I know, I... Now, here is where I took a little bit more inspiration from Harry Potter. You know, they have the snack car that goes between, like, the uh, seats and stuff. And, you know, you can grab snacks from. Uh, this is inspired from that. You can, like, take it, go up and down the aisle. I don't really know a lot about trains, so that might not be something that's often in trains. But, yeah, it works. If, if we want, we can flip that breaker. Uh, disconnect that. We might have to turn it a bit. And uh, push it forward a bit but so that it can that may hold on sometimes it takes a little bit to get it on the tracks I could have just had like wheels on this thing but I find sliding connectors are often better I prefer them to having something small in a creation have wheels now as you can see we can go up and down the aisle look for people and uh, give them their snacks And stuff because you know this it's a long journey it's a uh, from all the way from like Utah to California that's a long journey and it's really stressful because it's during the war so and uh, now here now we're up to the front now I'm really hoping and I would kind of want you guys to tell me in the comment section what you think. I'm really hoping not to make the tender a separate part of the train, if that makes sense. Because I'm that's what I'm thinking it would be easier to um, if it was all one piece. Um, now, as you can see, we've got the coal hoppers. Back there, we've got the firebox right here. We've got, let's go up front so we can talk about this stuff more. Uh, hold on, let me change the day to midday so we can see better. Now, I made this really cool, I don't know what it's for, but I've seen a lot of trains have these like front Things like one, I real kind of things close to the grunt. Um, I've got like this nice front light, like nice textured front to this long cylinder piece. I don't know what it's called again, but you yeah, know, it's you've got spotlights to look 
to, on the track. I was kind of thinking of hiding these fog horns. Or trying to ma was trying to make like a train horn. But you know, um, I was thinking if they're, got, they're for telling people to get off the tracks, right? I mean, you'd be able to hear that better if you're if it's on the front. I don't know. I may be wrong about that. Once again, I'm not a train expert. Now, if we want, we can start filling up the firebox and uh Hope we get it running. Now, again, this thing is still a work in progress. I've, for some reason, it. So, a lot of people on the discussions on Steam um, say that, like, the coal engines are weak, but I don't think that's a problem here. So, whenever I start this thing, as you can see, it says boiler volume, right? So whenever I start up, it, um, start, so when I start up, sorry, my brain start, it, it usually stays good for a while. Now I was inspired th to build this, um, from another video, um, from a YouTuber that I watched that also does Stoneworks, um. Mr. and Jersey, I think. But um, when I, I, uh, he did a like tutorial on steam trains and stormworks. And uh, I feel like I followed it pretty well. I did my own stuff, but you know. Uh, it's best if I show you. It does pretty good. Now that's reverse. I really need to label it. There we go. We're starting. The boiler temperature is going up. Now we can't start unless we have some sort of pressure. Apply brakes. We need to stay still. We probably need to grab some more coal just in case, too. Now we have to wait for the temperature to go up. Now, if if you guys can figure out what's wrong, please put it, type it in, down in the comments. Because uh, I would love to get this thing working and show its full potential. Um... It works for a while, but then some, like, the pressure gets a bit too much, and then it, the, I have, like, a system where it releases the pressure if it gets too much, but then it releases too much pressure. It's hard to explain. So, boiler temp. Here we go. Let's wait for it to get. Release brakes. Now, as you can see, we're starting to move. And usually, usually it doesn't work this well, actually. I'm surprised. Why aren't you failing like you usually do? It's like if I just want to chill and and do it myself, you fail just as soon as you start. Oh, here we go. Here we go. See that steam? See that steam? There we go. There we go. That's what happens.
and now it drops down to zero and now it grinds to a halt and you can tell the everything else is working but we're just not moving and pressure still eight but boy or volume is all the way at zero and I can't find out why it does that it's just weird but uh yeah uh that's my train actually I should show you guys the lights at night might as well Turn off the air valve and the firebox starter. Put everything down to zero. Because I might as well sh show you what this thing looks like at night. Because I like it. That's another thing I need, apparently. Lights on the inside. And, uh, maybe make it not midnight. Usually we do it more. Maybe make it, like, starting to have the sunrise. And that's that's my train everyone thank you for watching and bye whoops hold on